Okay, hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, basically a channel update. I was thinking of doing a Pontus or a Swaby uh, campaign because obviously my Bactria one is coming to a close now. Off camera finished, I just got to upload them. And today, we have had news. We have got the Pirates and Raiders DLC coming out in a few weeks. And I'm actually thinking of um, off putting the Swabian Pointers campaign and doing one, definitely, but possibly, well, most likely two of the factions out of the four. There's three which are in the culture pack itself. We've got the RDI, the Adrician Kingdom, and Tireless. Tireless is probably the one that I will actually start off with, and I'll be doing the second faction, which most likely will be the free LC one, which is the one you don't actually have to pay for. This is DLC, you've got to pay 5 99 and the free LC is the faction of the Ghetto, which is basically like horses. I'll go down this, well, here's the photos of it first. These are obviously more nomadic barbarians, hence in the title, pirates, duh, as you've seen in the photo, or they're raiders, so they'll be good at sacking, piracy, etc, etc. And obviously in my last uh, Let's Play, I didn't really do many naval things, so this will be really good. And I have the units to do it as well. So there's the photos for them, and then we'll scroll down, and I'll read out all the things for it. So we've got the new uh, new features, we've got the new Balkan cultural traits, which is basically what I just said. Obviously these are tribes which are warmongering. Supposedly you get, um, oh what is it? You get more points or more or something if you uh or better traits if you actually are with war people which is I thought was pretty cool. I, I can't remember the precise thing, it's on the rally point uh, episode twenty. Obviously here you can see Okay, here we go. The Illyrians are favouring piracy, which is the RDI. The Thracians, which is a Dristan Kingdom, are good at archery and the people of Tireless, which uh Hayes to the Celtic migrations. They are military infantry, which they put on there, the mental infantry <laughs> on thingy. Uh, as it's in the Balkan areas, all three of these factions, and I assume the three LC one as well, because they're in the same area, they have a new religion, so there'll be new cultural things, obviously new technologies, and this is the main point, new units. So they're going to be like the Celtic tribes, or maybe the Germanic, barbarian kind of... Uh, they will share some of it, but obviously the whole new units we've got here. Illyrian Marines. All of these will be under mercenaries as well, if you're not going to be doing these factions as well. Illyrian Raiders. Illyrian Noble Hoplites. Raiding. Da -da -da, which is obviously actual naval units itself. Assault Herxes and Assault Tetris, which is obviously the same as well. So these three are obviously boats. One's obviously these are later on so these are manned all by Illyrian raiders as well which are axe wielding stealth infantry which is pretty cool the marines highly trained medium armoured spear infantry so obviously these things you can obviously use on land and off but obviously mainly off land uh, addressing kingdom which is the Thracians which I had in my past uh, in a Bactrian let's play I've stood up against some of them and they're pretty good of what well, Thracian uh, Foot soldiers at least. Uh, Tireless which I will definitely will be doing. They've got gallo Thracian warriors, tribal warriors and raiding horsemen. New mercenaries. The soldiers of the raiding nations know well the value of coin and will apply their fearsome skills on behalf of others, which I just mentioned earlier. The mercenaries are mercenary Thracian warriors, mercenary falksmen, which are wielding the vicious curved blade, which sounds pretty cool, which are Dacians. Mercen Mercenary Dacian skirmishers, which I think have already been in, already in there at the moment. They've probably just advanced them or something. Mercenary Ilian raiders, and the same things so there before. Auxiliaries is the same as well. So it sounds quite interesting, but obviously the faction I'm going to be starting off with is Tylus, which is Popa Diva. So you're surrounded by quite a few superpowers. You've got Macedon. You've obviously got Sparta, basically all the Greek ones. You've got the tribes in uh, north of you, which is the Ghetto. But supposedly, like I said earlier, um, 
you get bonuses for actually to care more on people, which is if you're more of an aggressive let's player or person who plays the games, which I am, I don't really prefer, don't really like doing diplomacy, but I only do it as a last resort. But this this uh, style play is more catered for me. So what I'll be doing is these in two weeks time when it's released. I think it's roughly about two weeks. In the meantime, I'm going to be finishing off the campaign for Age of Mythology, but there'd only be like the odd video here and there. But I'll be actually starting a let's play of the Clash of Kings, Mountain Warband, um, Mountain Blade Warband. But once these come out, the DLC for this, I'm going to be doing irregular episodes of Clash of Kings. I'll do it for the next few weeks, obviously, so we've got something to watch. And then uh, once these come out, this will be my main focus, and I'll do the odd episode of Clash of Kings every two, three days, something like that. I hope you all enjoy it, and uh, just thought I'd keep you updated with the channel and what's going on. And if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up, and if you see the trailer for this, and my channel update, subscribe, because there'll be plenty of stuff coming soon. I hope you all enjoy, and good night.